الدافع عن الشرعية الدولية وحق للدولة في مزاولة سياستها المستقلة. A Russian intervention which is to guard Russian interests in their oldest Arab ally. That Russian intervention makes Russia a stakeholder. So has to be brought into the talking that needs to proceed, as does Iran with Hezbollah as a proxy in Syria, and as does the European interest in the form of uh, the flow of refugees from Syria out into Europe, the interest of uh, the Europeans in a stable Near East and Middle East, and America in that role also of global stability, with a particular interest on top of that in the security of Israel. The international community is still trying to bring the parties together to find a solution to the Syrian crisis. But we don't want to divide this thing up. Or Dividing the country the is part of the debate. Whatever. And it's up to the Syrians. I mean, the Syrians uh, right. Now on the question of whether the country will be dissolved or not or divided or not, uh, it seems to me that, that uh, it is already uh, divided in a very real way with the Alawites and the Christians and the other Shias occupying a certain amount of territory and the Sunni majority occupying the others. And I'm, I'm not very hopeful that Syria would be able to be put back together again. This is a the conflict in Syria has become increasingly sectarian. It has caused the internal displacement of hundreds of thousands of people and the international exodus of refugees on an unprecedented scale in the modern world. Some think that a form of federation is the only solution. يعني إذا كسرنا اليوم دول سيكس بيكو عملنا من كل دولة عشر دول حيصير عند هالدول حظوظ أكثر إنه إنه تخلق جامعة تكنولوجية وتخلق مراكز أبحاث اليوم كبيرة تحسن تطور تبدع وتبتكر وتدخل بمشاركة مع الحضارة لا بدها تكون متسوي لعدوى وأنا لا خوف عندي على الإطلاق من الفيدرالية الفيدرالية مخيفة عندما تأتي لتحل مكان ما هو موحد إذا عندك دولة موحدة وإذا طرف قال أنا بدي فيدرالية تقول هذا يمكن مدخل تقسيم أو انفصال أو كذا لكن عندما تكون دولة متشظية الفيدرالية قد تكون وسيلة للتوحد توحد من الحد الأدنى لكن للتوحد فلا يعني لا يجب أن يكون لدينا وهم أن الدولة القوية هي يجب أن تكون دولة موحدة I think that an Assad that controls the country might suit better the interest of Israel because he will be sort of the legitimized uh, ruler uh, after such a civil war, after such a carnage. The worst scenario is the disintegration of the, ne of the, of the country into uncontrollable uh, fiefdoms, as it were, no? I think that uh, one, uh, one Syria complete with a regime that is not particularly legitimate in the eyes of the international community is something that would suit, I think, the, the current rulers of Israel. The Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, ISIL, has also complicated the situation in Syria and has proclaimed the creation of a state in parts of Syria and Iraq. While American planes were bombing ISIL in Syria, they also enabled Kurdish groups to take control of certain areas of northern Syria in October 2015 and proclaim a Kurdish province there. This could be seen as encouraging the idea of a federal division of Syria, as well as causing alarm bells for neighboring countries. In Syria, they are trying to get some kind of cantons with the help of Russia, 
United States uh, and uh, Assad and Iranian regime. And a canton like Hezbollah style in Lebanon, a de facto habitat, uh, where internationally they may not be recognized, but de facto they would operate over there and continue to attack Turkey or create kinds of problems in the region. In mid-2015, there were armed clashes in Turkey between the government of Recep Erdogan and the PKK. The Kurdish PKK, founded in 1978, wants a political entity of its own, independent of Ankara. In Hezbollah, Mal in Kurdistan, Elan, the Stamir Rufi Intifada, when Shaitani fi inhail Intifada, ahaduma an taatarif al Dawl al Turkiya bi lughat al Kurdiya wa tajalaha lughat al Hukumiya lughat al Rasmiya fi al Madaris. والثاني إعطاء الحق الحكم الذاتي بدون أن يتحقق هذان الشرطان لا يمكن أن يوقف هذا الحزب العمال الكردستاني هذه الانتفادة. Mother tongue language as a being an official language in schools is a legitimate demand and it could be expressed in the democratic society. So I don't see any legitimate and logical uh, demand for any kind of autonomy. Even if it was there, it, it is going to be PKK's demand. And we are not in place to debate or negotiate that kind of autonomy with PKK on the behalf of all Kurds or Turks. The ultimate legacy of the Sykes-Picot agreement was to establish the right of outside powers and interests to intervene and influence the politics of the Middle East. The sense of instability and constant conflict it has engendered seems even more complex to address now than it was a hundred years ago.